Here's our last example for you to try. Factor this trinomial 2x squared minus x minus 28. And remember, with no coefficient, we know that that's actually a 1. And with a minus here, this middle term has a coefficient of negative 1. So that's all I'll say about this one. Put the video on pause and take a few minutes to work this one out. And come back and we'll go through the answer. OK, so three terms with a leading coefficient of 2. We know it's going to require these four steps to solve this problem. We multiply first and third. 2 times negative 28 equals negative 56. Here's the pair of pairs of factors that multiplied together will equal negative 56. From these pairs, I'm looking for the pair that added together is going to equal negative 1. And it's our last pair on the list, positive 7 and negative 8. So those numbers are used to create two new terms, positive 7x and negative 8x. Factor by grouping, we're finding from the first pair a GCF of x in front of parentheses, with 2x plus 7 inside parentheses. From the second pair, we have a, as a GCF a negative 4, and it was necessary that to, to factor out a negative 4 to make sure that our terms inside the parentheses would become positive to match up with the positive terms from the first pair. So our quantities in parentheses match. 2x plus 7 is going to be one factor in our answer. And the other factor is x minus 4. That's it. So you want to basically practice a few, get these steps down, understand that this part of the problem, finding pairs of numbers, that's often the, the trickier part. So just be patient and, and don't get frustrated and try to stay organized. And just think of those four steps and, and that will take us to our answer with this type of a trinomial without too much problem. I want to remind you that with all factoring problems, we have a way to check our answer. So if you take your answer that's written in factored form and do the multiplication, in this case it's going to be FOIL method, you should be able to come up with the three terms that you started with, 2x squared with a negative 1x and a negative 28. So uh, not a bad idea when you get to a test time. When you have factoring problems, check a few, especially ones that maybe felt a little bit bumpy as you were going through. Take your answer and do FOIL method. If you can come up with this trinomial started with, it's almost a guarantee you factored correctly. And if you're not getting there, then maybe you should double check some of these middle steps. And that does it for factoring trinomials of this form, ax squared plus bx plus c.